Millions of men worldwide were circumcised as infants long before they were old enough to consent. That's why we're developing a regenerative medicine surgical procedure that uses advanced techniques to restore the foreskin, an important, functional, and highly innervated part of the male anatomy. So there's Hapso to do with all these states. We can see a 3D desalinized foreskin. So now you can see it's a little bit foggy because it's cold. So uh, you can see the desalinized foreskin. guys welcome back to our forage and lab tour series in this third episode we are taking you deeper into our partners research facility to show you the technology behind the project let's head back into the lab if we go to the barrier and follow me first one that's the desalization setup and behind me that's the vesselization setup for this bioreactor uh, we can see this one is for desalization and the whole setup is really different as the bioreactor is for resolization. So still bioreactor, but completely different. So your overall workflow from that room that we just were in to this room here. So you have your sterile uh, BSL hood where you can do all your preparation and manipulation. Yeah. And then you, uh, you, you, you take the accusation. Yeah, you take the bioreactor with you to the, to the, to the hood because you need to seal it uh, when it's sterile. And then once you're all set up in the BSL hood. You then you go here and you hook it to the system. So this one uh, is uh, hooked up with some um, peristaltic pumps. They are pumping the solutions. So the solutions need to be prepared, sterilized, sealed, and membrane. So that way you are not contaminating it. There are valves, so we have to check if all the valves are open. Then everything is pumped through the system. It's cooled. There are actually two, two stages of, of cooling. So the first one is cooling the fluids coming in. And then there's a secondary coolant in here, which we can, which we can, which, this is the first of the, the, the primer coolant that is cooling actually the solutions pumping inside. And the bioreactor itself has a secondary chamber on the bottom. And this one is pumped with really, really cold secondary coolant. So, so everything that's pumped inside, is pre-cooled or set on the, on the, the, the preset temperature if you want to. And we can pre-cool or preheat with the secondary, secondary chamber down here. And this is the main chamber, and in this main chamber sits uh, the sample. All right. And then uh, it looks like you're you're sealed on top with that. Uh, this at, at this time it's it's uh, it's uh, in a, a membrane. Or... In, 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 in membrane, but the 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 head of the reactor can sit in here. Okay. Also, you can enter the the reactor from this side. So for sample, especially if you are doing 2D desalination, you can just enter the sample from this side. Because you're using the, as I mentioned, the flexible mesh. Mesh. Yeah. The mesh is really easy to just contract, put in, and then then she opens and let the solutions flow around. So it really helps to to keep the sample stable. At the same time, it's flexible enough to really comfortable work with it. Then the rest of the ports depends. What, what do you would like to connect to it? So uh, during the desalization, uh, you are only checking a few parameters. But if you like to, you can check definitely more parameters. You can check pH. O2 levels, CO2 levels, or different gas levels, if you like. If uh, you have some super specific uh, device and still fits the diameter, you can still put it in and take some, some data that you like. Then the reactor is is it's it's basically mounted in here, so it's stabilized by this huge clamp, so we don't break anything. So let me let me quickly demonstrate. Just is the close slick. So this is a service lid. Now let's try So what to do this organization. If everything is attached to this to the system, there are two pumps, pump, there are two ways that are pumping solution inside and two ports that are pumping solution outside. The solution and the samples they are connected, it's inserted. So this port either can, can serve as a port that you can attach your, your sample through, or you can just use it for pumping uh, for pumping the solutions inside. Then you can connect all the necessary connections. So you go and connect. Of course, you have to work sterile. So there is a there is a solution. We need to sterilize everything because at the moment it's exposed. So again, sterilize, connect, sterilize, connect, sterilize, connect. So we go through. You connect all of these together. So for inlet, then you take your outlet ones, and you connect the outlet system to it again. Connected and again sterilizing. Uh, but everything is running. The system is pumping the solution through one-way valves. 
So there are different modes and you are returning to this, to this main mode. So there's the cleaning mode, flashing mode, filling mode, running mode and then the flash out mode. So all of these modes uh, are running in some sequential, depends. And in between different steps you are pumping completely everything out and pumping a new solution in. So uh, the system, uh, also the pumps, they are at a different speed. But the, if you need, they can run really fast, they can refill it quick. Uh, but when they are running through the, through the desolation process, they are usually running at slow pace. Really just slowly putting the solution in and out. What's helping is that there is, a, there is a magnetic mixer under it, so a magnetic plate that is uh, helping to create some vortex inside. Because the vortex is really important to really push the solution against the, against the tissue. So if everything is running, the solution is going through, through the sample, and then uh, it's all the debris and everything is pumped out, pumped into the waste. The waste then uh, is sealed, and when it's full, it's changed. So, so you always change the... change the. Oh, that's your biomedical waste. For yeah, that, that's for the biomedical waste. So you go okay. take it out, and there are, there's a personnel that can take care about it. Okay, and then once you have the decellularized mat matrix, you set that up in the solution, and that can go in the fridge. Yeah, and if, if you have desolarized, desolarized uh, tissue, now you can un unblock the system. Ideally, take it again all with you, so we can take out the, the secondary cooling. So if we, because if you pop up the secondary cooling again, it looks really cool, and the system is going to pump the solution inside. Now we take all the bubbles out because you don't want the bubbles again. Plus, okay. so we have to. Tilt it sideways, plus uh, the lost bubbles. Now the bioreactor starts to pre-cool. So, as mentioned, the flow. There is already sample inside, it's sealed, it, it will go for desolarization. Now I have to pump inside and start to pre-cooling it. The, the solutions will be cooled via this cooler, and the bioreactor itself, the secondary coolant uh, circuit that is helping to, to keep it down. So. If you want to 4 degrees, you're going to set up 4 degrees and, and it's running. So we were just talking like briefly the whole process. Yeah, to work and then, then after it desolarized, then again, you're going to unhook the system. Take the whole bioreactor with you to the, to the hood and work under static condition and take the sample out. The sample is out, then you can use some uh, solution. If you work in the static conditions, you can use a sterile PBS or some, uh, some other buffer to really uh, ease out the, the osmotic uh, pressure and then it can be it can be pre-cooled and then frozen. We have a freezer for minus 80. So within the bags they are sterile, sterilized sealed so uh, at the moment uh, there's multiple samples there uh, this one is by different strategies and more are coming so on this freezer uh, is always full of samples there are the uh, items arriving from the process and wait for uh, further processing, or they're immediately taken to the different facilities or laboratories for further analysis and further experiments. So if we had taken this over, um, no, we, we had taken out the decellularized matrix and we were getting ready to recellularize the whole matrix, yeah. that would take us over to this part. Rather just take us over here or to a huge class, depends. If you want to go for a dynamic system or a static system.